Hi guys, how's it going? I am the Conflict Nerd. Hello and welcome back to City Skylines. Welcome back to Nerdshire today. Well, today there have been some small changes to the city, not too much. Mainly over here, because traffic was backing up like crazy down this highway. You might notice we have a six-lane roundabout that doesn't have any traffic lights on it. And that is honestly only a good thing. This was done with the toggle traffic lights mod, by the way. I'm so glad this works. I really am. It just, it helps so much. It helps the traffic flow so much better. Anyone coming out of here and wanting to go over to this district doesn't even really go onto the roundabout. They go straight into this leftmost lane and go straight onto there. So, it just works beautifully. It really does. It kind of, it, it basically works the way I think highways should. Traffic gets in lane a little bit later, and it just helps traffic flow. I've also turned off traffic lights at several junctions throughout the city. We've uh, got this as a way to get into uptown off of this side of the highway. It's just so, so much better. It just works so much better. And am I seeing some problems here? Not really. I mean, the interesting thing is with this mod as well, I can turn traffic lights on if I want to. And I mean, so, like there, for example, I can totally turn them on. But, uh... I don't really want them on there. It ju I just want traffic to keep flowing, if I'm honest. And I'm also going to just go ahead and turn them off there. Because that's a fair bit of traffic piling up that way. And I could also turn them on there, or turn them on there, or, you know, turn them off there. Because I don't really think we need them. So, you know, that's... That's what the mod does. Let's me control traffic lights. And I'm so happy that I can do it, because I've managed to get my traffic flowing so well around the city. Haven't really done much down this way. I think I will just let traffic flow in this area, because I don't really think traffic lights are all too necessary through most of this district. Uh, like here, we'll turn it off, and we'll turn it off here and off there as well. So that's just going to let traffic flow uh, through here without having to stop on this main road. I think I might as well turn it off there as well. And we'll turn it off here and here, and just the whole way along, anywhere else that there's traffic lights, such as there as well. It just helps traffic flow. It stops them from backing up for miles on end, and I mean, it's a little bit silly, since the amount of uh, car crashes that there would be if, I, if, if this actually happened in a city would be insane. But, uh, you know, it's city skylines. The AI's not... The AI is not as bad as I thought it was. It's just a little bit silly with some of the things it does. But there we go. You know, that's a load of traffic lights turned off. You can turn them all back on as well, which is kind of cool. Turn them off there. Turn them off there. And that will let traffic flow. It's a bit silly. You know, it, it does its thing. It's fine. We also did the same over here. Which uh, didn't work as effectively, but it sort of, you know, it's it's helped a little bit. I mean, traffic's still a bit nuts here. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn those traffic lights off, I think. And I don't have any on here. Don't have any on there. This is all right. This seems to do a reasonable job. I'm gonna turn them off here as well. And there as well. And anywhere else that they need turned off? Not there. Anywhere here needing them turned off? I don't think so. Off there, and I think we're good. I will say it's really weird having traffic just flow the way it's supposed to. It's it's very strange just having it work. Because, I mean, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking this kind of makes sense. You know, there's so many different ways onto this roundabout that I think six lanes, like, not having six lanes just seems kind of dumb. So this is good. This I like. But, uh, you know, what we did in the last episode was got all of this sorted. I think that was the last episode. It might not have been. But uh, I did say that down here was going to be industrial zoning. So let's go ahead and plan that out. Because I don't really have an idea for it just yet. And I suppose I should probably have one. And I mean, it, it could come off of this roundabout. But that doesn't seem like a good idea. If I'm honest. Having it come off of that roundabout doesn't seem all too clever, and I don't know that I want it to do that, because this district is sort of relying on the roundabout. So, maybe it would be a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it to be 
begin with? I guess, maybe? I mean, I could maybe do it. We'll see. Let's give this a shot. If it fails miserably, then we can adjust it. So let me bring this along uh, there and continue it straight down. That's a little bit further than I wanted it to go, but that's all right. And bring it to here and connect it there. I also don't think I really want the uh, central divide there, so I'm going to actually have to go ahead and upgrade all of that to a six lane, which is probably necessary considering how, you know, the bloody industrial traffic flows. I think six lanes is going to be appropriate, but at least this way they can cross that central uh, divide and do a U-turn if they need to. So that is progress. Let's see, though. What way do I want to do this? I think I'm going to take a straight road up like this to about there. And then a two-way road across like that and across like that. Actually, what I've done here probably makes a lot more sense if I just do not that road, but that road. Like that, and like that. And then what I want to do is just delete a little bit of it. So they're all separate areas and that they'll, you know, so they work a little bit better. Bring them really close to each other though, just like that. And there we go. So that's going to be uh, pretty much the industrial space. I don't really want it to be, I don't know if I want it to be too dense. I haven't really decided. I think what I may do is I'll bring a road off of here. Oh god, that fills in the space really well. Um, well, yeah, we're gonna have to do it, aren't we? Let's just do... I can make this work. I'm gonna disconnect those in a minute. So if we do that, like so, and then I want to disconnect just at the end, like that, and I think I'll leave this space a little bit open just because I can. So if we bring this down a little bit, bring this down a little bit, that's actually a really good use of space, isn't it? That does work kind of perfectly. It makes this look like a bit of a waste, though. I guess what I'll do is bring it off of there. No, that's... no. I don't want... I don't want traffic turning off that main road in that area. Bring it right along. And take this one just a little bit further. All right, that looks pretty good though. I like this. I do. I do like this. I do want to go ahead and zone this very carefully though, because I don't want uh, industrial zoning on the main roads at all. So if we do this, and then we'll bring it like that, and like that. So this way. There's no industrial zoning on those main sections of road, which is exactly what I want. In fact, I'm just going to get rid of that bit because I can see that's not quite right either. So do this the whole way along and do the same here so that all my industry has to come off of the main roads to even exist, which means that traffic will hopefully flow reasonably well. I know what city skylines is like, so that's Probably a bit of a lie, but I might get lucky. That's a weird use of space, though, isn't it? It is a it is a little bit weird, but I could use I could put parks in there, I suppose, if I can get them small enough. You now, small. No, nah, the parks are all that annoys me. The parks are five by five, and uh, the zoning's four by four. That that annoys me more than I feel it should. Although I could get a park there, which I suppose works. So one there and one there. Yeah, to hell with it. We'll put them at the entrance to each industrial zone to make it look nice. There we go. Can I get a long park? That That's a bit bigger than I want it to be. Okay, well, you know, that's that's a nice use of space. It's, uh, it's a kid's play park. That's the perfect thing to have in an industrial zone. I mean, isn't it? It'll, it'll work, I think. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't. Anyway, let's go ahead and bring some water across here. And then straight down this way. And then straight across like that. Lovely. Okay, let's see what happens. 
So they don't have any electricity right now. They're also... Oh, they are zoning, though, which is good to see. Okay, okay, we'll see how this goes. That hasn't created traffic lights, has it? Has it made traffic lights over there? Probably. No, it hasn't, actually. Good. Okay, so some of you guys are flowing down that way, which is possibly a good thing, possibly a bad thing, depending on where you're going. Are you just bypassing the, the freaking highway, really? You're really just... Wow, okay. Let's turn those traffic lights off, at least. And my game just flickered. That was weird. Yeah, let's turn the traffic lights off, because I don't think we're going to need them. So, off with the traffic lights, off with the traffic lights. I don't like that they're trying to bypass the highway. That kind of annoys me. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Anyway, let's see if I can connect this up. That's just absolutely wrecked the buyer for that area. Good job, me! Let's do that. There we go. Emergency should be sorted. Okay. Well, most of them are connected. Uh, I'm just really curious to see how this holds up. I guess what I will do is bring a one-way road from here across like that so that anyone living over here can go straight to work. That seems like a decent idea. Might work. We'll see what happens. I mean, this this could be all right. This might work. We'll see. I'm really hoping it does. Uh, we've got some trucks coming down. We've got some traffic. It has killed the industrial need, which is nice. So if I can get a nice new industrial zone down here, that's not too uh, that's not too nasty. Then, well, I'm willing to say mission accomplished. So let's just make this zone work a little bit better. Because it's, you know, they're not zoned on this road. They're not zoned on the other side of this road. So, that is not right. Oh, God, that just knocked it way back. Let's just tidy that up. There we go. It's got to be a good-looking industrial zone. It can't be nasty. It can't be all, you know, half-assed all over the place. I sell for nothing less than perfect. So, there we go. That is uh, slightly less than perfect. But it'll do. I'm happy enough with it. Doesn't have a name yet. Also doesn't have work. Really? Oh, we want industrial zoning, but we won't fucking work there. Uh, really? You're not gonna work there? Come on. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not zoning residential on this road, even though that kind of might be a really good place for it. That would totally be a good place for some. Uh, to hell with it. Let's see what happens. Do this. All right. So they might live there. Also, I know I'm losing money and I'm losing people, but, uh, I'm kind of okay with it, to be honest. I'm willing to see what happens, is, is kind of my current stance on this whole situation. Just to see if those guys end up working in these industrial buildings. Uh-oh, building burnt down. Well, I suppose it would have taken firefighters a really long time to get down here. The only thing is... I can't really afford another fire so oh god, there's not a lot of fire coverage. Then again, I mean, I don't often see buildings burning down in this area, so it's mainly down here is the problem, so I guess I could put a fire station there. That's not the worst place in the world for it, I suppose. Eh, who cares if I can afford it or not. We kind of need it. And I mean, it's not like I'm going to run out of money anytime soon. Let's have a look, though, and see where all of my money's going. I mean, a lot of it's going into public transportation, which is... I mean, specifically, uh, trains. Okay, you know what we're going to have to do then? We're going to have to kill the budget of the trains a little bit. We'll bring that down to 135% just to save some money. And we'll bring the buses down to 140 to save some money. Because that doesn't seem like a dreadful idea whatsoever. I'll put my fire coverage up by 5% just to... Uh, Make sure everything's all right. That hasn't really done much. What? Why is that fluctuating so much? I really don't understand this. Like, my income is like, fluctuating like crazy. Oh, it looks like tourism might be part of that problem. Okay. I mean, my expenses are all over here. I'm spending so much on... Policies? Oh. 
Okay, I, I kind of see this. Okay. Uh, recycling is reduced garbage and reduced tax income. Um, I mean... I might turn recycling off. Parks and Rec is... Increases the decoration budget by 20%. It also increases land value. Education boost. Um, I'm going to turn education boost off. Because we need people working in factories. And we've had it on for a really long time now. So at the minute we need people to, to go to work in factories. So if they want to go to school, they're going to go to school. If they don't want to go to school, then they're not. What is this? Not enough raw materials. Have you guys, like, stripped that land bare, then? Is that what's happened? Let's have a look. Natural res- Wow, okay, yeah, you have- That land is not fertile anymore. Um, I guess... In that case, 50 fields of hay might have to be retired. That, that might have to be a thing, because... A lot of you are complaining about no materials, and there is big demand for commercials, so, uh... Let's... Yeah, let's retire this uh, farming then, I guess. I mean, it's a big step, and it's a lot to get rid of, and it's really going to hurt my income. But uh, I guess if they're not happy with it, then retire it. There we go. Okay. You guys can bugger off then. That'll help traffic in this area. It will also put my industrial demand up like crazy, but uh, I'm alright with that. Okay, also my income has gone up like crazy since I got rid of that uh, education boost, I think. I suppose 25% more expenses on education is a lot, so that's kind of to be expected. Anyway, let's go ahead and start zoning some uh, shops here. I think this, this might be a good idea, so let's put some shopping like there. And put some new housing zoning just there to sort of extend that. So, loads of shops. That is a cargo terminal. That might not be a good idea, but uh, I'm gonna do it anyway, because why not? There we go. Then again, I do need to put a passenger terminal over here at some point and loop it into my, uh, my, my circuit, but that's gonna be something to figure out. Uh, housing, we'll put some... We'll put some low density along here in this little area, just because why not? A little bit of low density housing. And then I want to put some high density housing in here. And I'll show you why when this develops. It, if in, if this works the way I want it to, this is going to look like a little uh, mini city, basically, is what I want this to look like. So it could look kind of cute. So there we go, we'll do that. Then we'll do some high density uh, there. And then another, another little bit of low density just at the end there. And then some low density housing kind of surrounding it. So if this works the way I want it to, which it probably won't, but I might get lucky, this will end up looking like a little mini city and it'll look adorable. So let's do that. Let's do that. And then just zone the rest. Of, that is not what I wanted. Then just zone the rest of this with low density housing and it'll be interesting to look at, I suppose. I'll bring this down here as well. Just like that. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Alright, that could look kind of fun. I uh, will put a little bit of low density housing there too. So, uh, 50 Fields of Hay is going to have to be renamed to uh, the Mini City. There we go. Mini City. Or Nerdshire Junior now. Mini City works. We'll go with Mini City. Uh, we can turn off the specialization in here for, uh, what was it? What was it? What was it? it was, I was specialized. Yeah, yeah, you have to turn off the... How do you do this? Farming industry? Do you just... How do you do that? Can you remove, like, industry? Can you just remove the specialization? There we go. Let's remove the specialization. That means that we've got regular stuff. I guess. This might be interesting. Let's, uh, this isn't connected to anything. And that's not connected to anything. And they've all not got power. Oh. I may have messed up. I also realized this area is, uh, not really connected to much either. 
Let's just bring a power line over here then, because that seems like a good idea. And then we'll bring... Yeah, none of those guys really have much power. We'll figure that out. I may have forgotten to zone up here. So, uh, I guess up here can just be more... Housing, I suppose? Could totally make another mini city. This is Nerdshire Farms, isn't it? I'm gonna have to... Yeah, we're gonna have to go with another mini city, I think. Or another part of mini city. We'll just do housing. There we go. Just a load of housing. It's not exactly an ideal area for it, but... It does the job. There we go. The mini city has been, you know, determined. Barnside Estate can still be Barnside Estate. Nerdshire Place. I'm gonna call Nerdshire Forest again because it is just, you know, it's really, uh, have, you know, densely populated with trees, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, and I suppose we just gotta let this develop and hope that the pyro coverage sort of fixes itself because that's less than ideal. I mean, I guess what I could do is bring a pyro line over like that, so at least those guys have pyre. And then, I mean, that kind of works, doesn't it? I give some of these guys some electricity. Bring this across, so that has some. Bring uh, this over like that, I guess. So they've got some. And that sorts it. That's, that's kind of all right. That seems to be working. It'll be interesting to see how that develops. It's weird to consider that that's no longer farming, though. And it's just called the mini city. As for down here, traffic is flowing pretty well. These guys, most of them seem to have work. Uh, lots of parking on the side of the road. I don't approve of that, but there's not much I can do about that. Any of you guys working in that area? Anyone wanting to use that as a one-way across? Doesn't really seem like it, actually, which is weird. I thought more people would use Oh, you're using it, of course. I mean, the thing is, where do you work? Where are you going? You're going to the Elm resident. Ah, okay. So you're probably visiting some friends or something. Wait, that's just been built. That has literally just been built. Okay. All right, then. That's not weird at all. This is nice, though. This is nice. Lots of, uh, lots of stuff going on with this. I could totally make this look a bit nicer, but I don't think I'll bother. What I think I will do, though, is come in with the tree tool, or the tree brush, whatever it is. Uh, how big are these trees? Hold on. So this is that size, and this is a lot friggin' smaller than I thought it would be. So that tree is definitely bigger. Alright, we're gonna cover this area in these trees, because I can. What's that, an oak tree with leaves? Nice to, uh, nice of you to specify that. Oak trees are kinda big. Oh. Oak trees it is! Let's get painting. So lots of oak trees. Cause, you know, why not? This isn't gonna look silly. Uh, lots and lots of oak trees, just to cover this area, and here, and down here, with all of the nature. There we go. All of the nature. Get that trending. Alright, so there we go. We've got uh, all of the nature down here, looking fancy and natural, I guess. It's not so bad. Some of those oak trees are kind of dead looking, but to be fair, I'm kind of dead looking. So, you know. Like father like tree. I don't know, whatever the case. This is no longer soon to be industrial. I mean I don't have a name for it at all, so that, that's kind of awkward. I should probably come up with a name for it. Soon to be industrial is I mean it, it is industrial now, so it should it should kinda of have a name. We'll call this we'll we'll give this a name first since I actually have an idea of what this can be called. So we'll start here, bring it over. Uh, we'll carry it round a little bit, and I think it'll come to about here. So it'll go about that far. And it'll go as far as the highway. I don't want it to go any further back. What's it currently called? Highland Park. I don't like that name. It's silly. It's a, it's a silly name. Although it sounds like it could be very real, and it actually sounds like it... I feel like there might actually be a place called Highland Park park in my town. And if there is, it's silly. So, uh, that's something I should probably actually do some research into and see if it does actually exist. I, I don't know. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Let's just go ahead and tidy up Highland Park's boundary, which is not staying at all. Come on, make it nice and neat with the highway. The highway does not need to be part of it. There we go. Uh, no, I broke it. Uh, fix that, fix that, there we go. Bring it along. 
Nice and neatly does it. Perfect. All right, Highland Park. We're going to just rename you quite simply Riverside. Because that is also a place in my town. So, Riverside it is. What I also want to do, now that we have this industrial zone, is I'm actually going to put some incineration plants down here. Because that doesn't seem like a dreadful idea whatever, uh, whatsoever. But two there. And we'll put two here as well. And that way we have some uh, garbage trucks down this way. Dealing with Riverside, dealing with uh, Fifty Shades of Traffic, you know, de doing all the good stuff. And it means that, you know, these guys over here aren't as overwhelmed. Let's see what I did there over here, overwhelmed? Yeah, that was good. That was good, wasn't it? Let's have a look. Currently spending a lot of money on that. Currently uh, losing a lot of money. Why am I losing money? I don't understand. I really don't understand. I'm going to bring this down because I don't think I need that to be 105%. Uh, medical care can be 105%. I sub no, bring medical care down. I don't think it needs to be that high. And uh, we'll bring the decoration budget down a little bit because it's already being boosted by a policy. Okay, so that, that might be alright. We'll see how that goes. Riverside, on the other hand, I'm actually going to go ahead and expand just a little bit. Because I kind of like it over here. So, let's just do this. Is that as far as it goes? It goes a little bit further. Okay. I think that's about it. Yep. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do at all. So let's see if we can have a road just come around here quite nicely along the highway. So about there. And then... I guess we could do something like... This. Uh, going up like that. And sort of just ending there, I guess. So something like that. And then we'll have this join there. So that's a start. And then we'll have this one sort of continue over this way a little bit, curve up and around and to there. There we go, that's just a lovely little extension to this area, which I really like. So let's go ahead and put some nice uh, low density residential along the front of this and hope that no one moves in because they don't have any power yet, so that would be kind of an issue. So let's do that, let's do that and did anyone move in? I don't think they did. Good. No one moved in. That's good. Let's also go ahead and put some... What was it? Low density? Yep. We'll do a little bit of high density uh, commercial at the edge there. And I mean, a lot. this is mostly residential. So, I think I'll put a little bit of just commercial down this end so they've got somewhere to work. And I'll put some offices down this end so they've got somewhere to work. And I'll bring some offices along the back here as well, just so they've got somewhere to work. And because, you know, I kind of like the idea of a little bit of variety. And then just bring some residential along this back section. So we've got a lot of nice and tall buildings right there. And we'll put some just along here too. There we go. That area is going to look absolutely fabulous. So let's just extend the water. So they're not, you know, thirsty as hell and stinky and not able to flush the toilets and stuff like that. Oh, that'd be awful. There we go. All right, so that is Riverside. That is a finished district looking fabulous, or it will look fabulous eventually, I'm sure. Probably. Uh, possibly. I don't know. It, it'll, look, it'll look good eventually. Anyway, one thing I want to do before I bring this episode to an end is find a blue train. Find a, a, a blue train, this guy specifically, and call it Thomas the Dank Engine. There we go. Just because I can. Just because I can. That's... That <laughs> oh, God. Um, yes, Thomas the Dank Engine, because why not? Uh, that's probably going to bring up some hilarious... Uh, some hilarious videos on YouTube, actually. I'm gonna... I'm about to spend my evening looking up videos of Thomas the Dank Engine. And I'm not even sorry. So, uh, with that in mind, folks, thank you. 
Thank you very much for watching. This has been City Skylines. This has been Nerdshire. I've been the Conflict Nerd, and we've got a bit more to do. I think down here is going to absolutely be a suburb, but in here is going to have to be some more dense uh, city. So with that in mind, yeah, we've got a lot to do. I have to figure out this money situation and find out where all of that's going, but uh, yeah. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.